Separation in the Oil and the Gas Industry, presented by Yasser Qasim. We will have a short introduction about the oil and the gas produced fluid and their constituents, and we will answer the question why we need a process plant or why we need a separation or separator. Petroleum gas and liquid are called the hydrocarbon fluid because the main constituent of the petroleum fluid is the hydrogen and the carbon atoms. Oil and gas wells produce a mixture of hydrocarbon gases, condensator oil, salty water, in addition to some inorganic gases such as nitrogen, carbon dioxide, possibly hydrogen sulfide, and few solids including sand from the reservoir, scale and corrosion products from the tubing. This mixture is very difficult to handle, meter or transport. Also, it is unsafe and uneconomical to ship or to transport this mixture to refineries and the gas plant for processing. Further, crude oil shipping pipelines, hydrocarbon shipping tankers, oil refineries and gas plant require certain specification for the fluid that each receive. Also, environmental constraints exist for the safe and the acceptable handling of hydrocarbon fluids and disposal of the produced salty water. It is therefore necessary to process the produced fluids in the field to yield products that meet the specification set by the customer and are safe to handle. Crude oil is produced from production wells, flow and flow lines as a mixture of gas, oil and water. The mixture is then collected in manifold before entering the process plant. The goal in the process plant is to produce oil that meets the purchaser's specification that defines the maximum allowable amount of water, salt, sulfur, in addition to the maximum allowable value of red river pressure, maximum allowable bore point temperature. Also, the gas must be proceeded to meet purchaser's water vapor maximum allowable content, which is known as water dew point, hydrocarbon dew point specification to limit condensation during transportation, in addition to the maximum allowable content of CO2, H2S, O2, total sulfur, mercaptan, mercury, and maximum gross heating value. The produced water must meet also the regularity requirements for disposal or to meet reservoir requirements for injection into the underground reservoir to avoid plugging the reservoir and to avoid the underground water contamination. The specifications for the above requirement may include maximum oil and water content, total suspended solids to avoid formation plugging, bacteria counts, toxicity in case of offshore disposal, and oxygen content. Phases that include gas, oil, water in oil and gas production lines are not naturally 100% separated. Part of the gases is free in the field production and or transportation line and another part is dissolved in the oil stream. In the same time, part of the liquid produced is trapped in the gas stream. Similarly, part of the produced water is free and another part is emulsified with the produced crude oil. Also, part of the oil is free and small droplets of oil are dispersed in the water phase. Oil processing plant's function is to separate each phase from the phases to meet pipeline or tanker specifications. What separators looks like? Separators are horizontal or vertical vessels with some internal configuration built to assess separation of phases. Separators are usually the first vessel in the oil and the gas processing facilities, which are sometimes called gas oil separation plant GOSP. Sometimes more than a single separation vessel are installed in the process plant, depends on the requirements and the fluid properties. Separators may be called free water knockout drum, production separator, high or medium or low pressure separator, scrubber, a slug catcher, which may be a big separator vessel or a group of large size pipes may be installed upstream of the production separator to overcome the liquid slugs in the flow as we will explain later in this.